And today, in, here in July 2017, we went to the MIT flea market again. And here's to show you what I got for free. I got these uh, well, salad tongs. What I'm going to use them for is to pick charcoal up out of the basket and rearrange it. Yeah, it's plastic. It might get a little melty, but it's just to get the uh, barbecue pit uh, distributed and everything. I'll see how long these last doing that. <laughs> Those are free. Uh, I also got a little video game. Yeah, I play Xbox still sometimes. It's uh, Star Trek from that new fairly recent remake of a few years ago. I guess they're still making 360 games. And this was only like, I think, four or five bucks. I'll give that a try. I also got some hardware. I got these little... Uh, pack of 832 seconds by 5.8 long screws. They're this type of uh, Allen wrench socket heads, so I'm sure I'll find a use for these. Got a bunch of them. And along with hardware, I tend to prefer quarter 20, and I found all of these quarter 20 screws. And these were uh, $1 for all of those like maybe a pound worth and these uh, 830 seconds were 50, 50 cents so that's a good deal got some cheap hardware and for only 50 cents I got this really old-school uh, plumbing pipe wrench here since I didn't I don't have a wrench like this until today I didn't so hey why not just about every other kind of tool he had, though, I already had, but not one of these. So I'll add this to my tool collection. Maybe clean it up in a vinegar bath or something. You can see the rest on there. And also found a decent little uh, banana plug decade resistor box, which I did not have one quite like this just yet. That goes full from your ones by 10, 100, by 1k ohm, 10k ohm, up to 100k ohm here. I'm going to open this up, or at the very least open it if I have to, and just check these all out. Um, and replace any resistors that are in need of it. I, I got all those resistors from one Radio Shack closed down near me. No more Radio Shacks in Massachusetts. How crazy is that? What's your closest Radio Shack? Comment down below if there is a Radio Shack near you at all still. I also got in the hardware around this interesting thing. It's a reversible speed reducer for portable drills. So you see it increases the power seven times and that means it reduces the speed at which the drill turns. And, and let me show you this thing here. So what you would do is you would put your drill on here and as this whole machine turns, you hold this end and this and as that turns, this turns. It came with one bit, only a flathead no Phillips head is in there. This not sure how I would tighten it down though. But anyways, so if I rotate it on the right one time around, that's one full revolution. You can see how little it turned on there. So let me do it again. Holding it this way, I'm gonna do one full revolution. And it only turns it that much. So with this gear reducer, I'm thinking for making a Tesla coil winding jig powered by a drill, I can use this to get the speed down so that I can rotate it. In addition to controlling the drill by a variac, I can get an even lower gear speed. Plus, I'm going to get higher torque. See, because this increases the drill power. Most likely the torque or the foot-pounds or however that's measured. And this fella here 
So even came with the directions. Look at that old school print. It's just kind of fun and nostalgic to see the fonts that they used back then. This was from an old retired fellow. I bought that and this from him. He said that, that he had to just clean out, unfortunately. So he was there with his son and probably his looked like his grandson. Cleaning out his stuff. And that's what you see a lot at the MIT flea market. A lot of older, retired gentlemen who are selling their parts. This was probably from an estate sale, the resistor decade counter. That one guy just bought a whole bunch. This was only five dollars. I probably could have gotten it for three had I haggled. There was a magnetic tape head eraser for five and he said, Will you take it for three? And I said, No. So I got a lot of big magnets already. Speaking of magnetics and flux, I also got this uh, transformer for I think only one or two dollars. They said it came out of a flyback transformer driver. I'm not sure what that means. If you happen to know what it means, let me know. I'm going to just Google it anyways. So what I'm hoping this might work for is to be, this being of course your primary side and your secondary side, I'm going to check at least the resistances and compare them to try and get a turns count, maybe. But it could be different gauge wires, so also try inductance measuring and also just with the Variac. I'm wondering if this might work for this project I'm thinking of, of charging these 450 volt 1800 microfarad capacitors. With about six of those I should get close to a thousand joules which ought to be enough to crush soda cans through a three or four turn inductor. And also to power that um, charging device. Well, no, that's one project. The can crusher is one project I got in mind. The other project I have in mind is, oh, this thing is really heavy, like 10 pounds or so, is this 12 volt 18 amp hour sealed battery here. Tested good on November 2015 looks like. And yeah, so these are only nine dollars a piece. I also saw them for 10, but if I can save a buck, I will. I got two of them, and I'm thinking, well, these 12 volts, remember that last video that I posted about the ignition coil driver? I'm going to use the, this instead of those two lantern batteries, because once the lantern batteries burn out and they're dead, that's it. They're done. I got to throw them out and buy new ones. Not anymore. Now I got, instead of six volts uh, in series, I got 12 volts in one unit, although it's really heavy, a lot heavier than two lantern batteries. But I got 18 amp hours, so we get a lot more life out of this. And yes, I do have a method to plug this into the wall to recharge, positive and negative. Or instead of the wall. Now these solar panels I got a few years ago. This one was made to be going like a car or a trucker thing. You see this port would have gone into the window for your and this is you see the ratings here. Photovoltaic module solar radiance. So 1.25 open car at 17 volts. Well when I close the circuit and charge it, I'm pretty sure you know it's gonna drop down to 12 volts and 13 volts as you saw when I posted last year with my solar panel charging project, it, once you have a voltage source in series, along with a higher voltage like your 13 or 17 volts, that's going to charge up the uh, 12 volt battery. And that's a, a good thing. So there you go. 0.092 amps are basically 92 milliamps. Here it's saying like 85.9 are basically. 86 milliamps, which is really close to the 92 rating. So yeah, I got this to try for charging up this battery and its partner. I got two of these. And this uh, other solar panel here, as you see, it is a car charger. 
So this can be used to keep your car battery going. And for your 12 volts, well, you get these couple of plugs right here. Kind of odd that they would do that. I'm sure I can adapt these down to get 12 volts out and then crimp on different adapters to get 12 volts in here. I'll see how many amps I get out of this or just keep this in the car. Those I didn't get this month, but I got like last year, the previous year or something. But these solar panels have been in the basement. Now that's a funny place for solar panels in a place where there's no sunlight. Come on now, I'm smarter than that. <laughs> and for the little parts, I got a pair of these little AM coils here. I might make in those, uh, try and make them one of those what you call the Tesla Spirit radios and I'll put a couple of links to what that is in the description and yeah we get the cores ferrite cores and the windings you've probably seen these if you ever built one of those old Radio Shack board AM radio kits or just the standard crystal radio I think I'll use one for a crystal radio project that I'm already working on and another one for a classic spirit radio, like you also find on Instructables, which again I'll put down in the description below. Of course, to connect stuff together, those coils were only like a dollar each, and these clips were 25 cents each, so I couldn't really pass up that bargain. Get, uh, you know, two each, positive and negative. I can easily attach a wire without soldering. It's got a little screw on it there. I'll probably crimp something onto the wire and then tighten down the crimped uh, connector onto the screw. That's how I'll probably do it. So I could, you know, switch it up or change connection types later on. So yeah, and of course with all these little parts I have, I get this brand new uh, parts holder. That's nice and clear. I can see exactly what's in it for only one dollar. So I spent like less than 50 bucks on all the stuff you see here. So now let's talk about something that I call projectitis. And that's when you have so many projects going on that you spend more time dealing with projects like oh a solar project the battery charger project oh look a, a resistor project so that this can be used to test uh for example base voltage control for other transistorized pro project oh look it, it's a tesla coil winder project uh, screws stuff for other project am radio project oh look a, a tesla spirit radio project and uh, these other, you get so many projects on your list that all you do is plan more projects and collect more and more stuff for them. And it's a very rare event that you actually build anything to completion. I call this projectitis. Do you or anyone else you know have this projectitis? Go ahead and comment down below if you or someone you know also either enjoys or suffers from or finds himself in a cycle of projectitis that uh, they have so many parts for so many projects that their house starts to get a little cluttered and they rarely get anything completed like me. My name's Techno Wizard and I suffer from Project Ditis. Let's form a support group. So, thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time. Hopefully, we're actually working on a project. Okay, later.